Hey guys, it's me Grego here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this quick transition. It's a pretty cool spin transition, and um, yeah, let's just get into it. So to start things off, you just want to go to Composition, New Composition, and I'm just going to call my Composition Spin Transition. And my duration is going to be 3 seconds because that's as long as my clips are, and I don't really want it to be any longer. Um, but yours can be as long as you want, as long as your clips are, and I'm going to have my frame rate at 60. Uh, if your computer can handle it, um, 60 is probably the best you can go, but if it can't handle it, um, go to 30. 30 frames is still pretty nice. And so I'm going to click OK, and then once we're here, I already have my clips, but if you don't have your clips, import your clips. And I have mine imported right here. I like to put my first one on the top and the one that I'm going to spin to uh, on the bottom for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of just like a habit. But the first thing you want to do is you want to obviously go to the center. Um, so your clips are like the same length. Unless they're not the same length, then you don't really want to do it. So I'm just going to cut these two right here. And so now when you play this, they do that. It's just a not cool cut does not look good um so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add something called motion tile to these two clips it's a default preset um on after effects oh motion tile and so once you look up motion tile uh you just want to click it and you want to drag it to your first clip and on your first clip output width 400 output height 400 mirror edges is checked and you want to do the same exact thing for your second clip 400 400 and check okay now once you're done with that um what you want to do next is click layer new null object and put it above all your clips and this is very important you want to click this i mean everything's important but this is very important you want to enable motion blur right here and then you want to put the motion blur on every single one so it's sh this should be blue and these should all be have like circle type things and so now that's done um you want to click r on your keyboard while you're hovering over the null object and i'm just going to zoom all the way in to where my clips um overlay which should be right here and it's now that I'm all the way zoomed in i can see frame by frame where they are and so um i so right when they switch which you can see right here for me it's 30 frames but for you it might be something a little bit different um so they switch at 30 frames and at 30 frames is the first frame that your second clip is um gonna be shown so i want to go 10 past that i want to go 10 past 30 which is 40 and so i'm going to click this right here which is just adding a keyframe and keyframes are something in animation that are used to move objects and um, it's using every single software and so the last clip of your first clip uh, the last keyframe of your first clip you want to go 10 under that and so you want to go to 19 for me it's 19 um and so once you go to 19 whoa what did i just do <laughs> okay so once you're at 19 um you want to add another keyframe which is just clicking this one now and so now you're left with just two random keyframes which you don't really need to do anything with until later and so you want to go to the last the last frame of your first clip um and then you want to add another keyframe and but this one you want to change the rotation at negative 230 and so wait undo that i did it wrong <laughs> you want to take this squiggly line right here and you want to parent it to null and you want to take your other you want to take both clips squiggly lines uh click and hold and click them to null or you can just do this uh, and parent them and you just click your null object and so now that's done now you do this you add a keyframe and you put the rotation negative 230 and then you want to go here and then you want to put the rotation, you want to add another keyframe and put the rotation here to 230. And so it should look something like this. It should look kind of like the Batman, 1960 Batman transition. Like, you know, like the, uh, -da -da. you know that, <laughs> but we don't want to look like that. We want to look more clean, more fluid. 
And so we want to highlight all these, click and drag, make sure they're all blue. You want to click F9 on your keyboard, or if you don't have F9, you want to right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. It does the same exact thing, except two different ways. And so with all that stuff highlighted, make sure it's all blue, you want to click graph editor. And then you want to make sure that show transfer in box and multiple keys are selected is on, snap is on, and fit all graphs to view, just click that. And you want to start off by clicking the top one. And then you want to drag the yellow one down to here. And it's okay um, if it looks like this. It's just different, but it just does the same thing. Um, you want to make sure that you can't go any farther left. And you want to make it kind of close to the dark line, like the darker line, like the middle line, you know. Um, and then you want to drag this one over here. And you want to put it kind of close to it, uh, like right there. Not touching the black line, not touching the other... Um, uh, yellow thing I don't know <laughs> um, but you want to do the same exact thing for this one except obviously opposite side um, and then yeah that should be your graph except one more thing um, uh, I'll include this with the um, with the project file uh, it's just the swoosh sound effect and I like to put it all the way over hold on um, it's kind of long, but it's just one shoosh. Maybe a smidge over here. Let's see how this looks. That looks better. Eh, a little bit. That looks good. Okay, so now that we have this, um, the project file will be in the description. The sound effect will be in the description. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this was made by um, Classic Edits, um, but he... Or she, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, didn't go in depth and explain what they were doing. They didn't include like how they put motion, uh, uh, motion. Oh my god, I can't talk. How they put um, motion blur on it and all this stuff. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace. And so I know these uh, videos that I use, they were brought to you by Storyblocks. And Storyblocks um, they is copyrighted. And so these videos are copyrighted and you can't use them. So I'm sorry, I can't place the project file. But I'll still put the swoosh sound effect. And uh, sorry about that. But see y'all later. Bye.